Wow, that coffee is really hot. But how hot is it? That's a good question. We could use something like our temperature sensor, but that would require us to put in a piece of electronics in our coffee. I don't want to do that. Or we could use a thermocouple. We don't really need that either because it's not that hot. We could use something like this. Shoot at it, get 126 degrees or so. And that's great, but I can't access that data. So why not make your own? I mean, build versus buy. So what are we going to use? We are going to use what's called a contactless thermopile. And this has a very simple I squared C communication protocol. You basically need four pins. You need power, ground, and a clock pin. This comes as a kit, solder on the extra header pins here, and you're ready to go. Now you'll notice I said it requires four wires and you'll see there's extra wires on here. Well, this particular one by Adafruit has an alert pin. So it allows you to program a set temperature or set threshold and it will go high or low based on that threshold. And it also has um, two additional pins that allow you to change the addressing in the communication chain. So let's hook this up and give it a try. So I'm going to put it on the breadboard right here. And I'm going to start by hooking up the ground. And if I look closely, ground is this second pin. There's only one ground connection, so I'm going to go right to the board. Then I'll hook up my power, which is VCC, is how it's labeled on here. And it goes into 5 volt. And then what you need are your I squared C communication. You have data and you have clock. And I'll use this orange and yellow wire for those two. The data pin, which is the third one, SDA, I'm going to connect to analog four, which typically on an Arduino Uno, that's the pin you use. And last but not least, the SCL, which is the clock pin, I'm going to connect to analog five. That's all you need to do to make your own version of one of these. So let's plug it in and load up Arduino. Now, working with this contactless thermopile, something that reads infrared energy and converts that into degrees Celsius can be very difficult. But once again, Arduino saves the day with some libraries. So the first thing I wanna do is go to sketch, include library, manage libraries, and we are going to look for Adafruit TMP007. There it is. I click on it, click install, close it. I'm going to quit out of my Arduino software again, fire it back up, and I should have an example that I can work with. Go to File Examples, and right here you'll see TMP007. Open that up. We'll take a look at it. Let's verify all our connections. So we have two libraries that are imported. If you don't have the wire library imported already, you can do that. And VCC to positive three. It's quieter than five volts. So you know what? Let's go ahead and make that change right now. Not a big deal. It's always good to read the code. I move that over to the three, three volt. We're good. SCL on the UNO, it says A5. And SDA is on A4. Then it loads up the library. And let's take a look through here to see if there's anything to note. There really isn't anything here. It's, it's basically reading it and serial printing right here, whether it can find it or not on the chain. And then in the loop, here's what goes over and over again. So it's going to float an OBJT. It's going to print. This is just text. Object temperature. We'll upload it to the board. You see it's working. And now I'll open up a serial monitor. And it's saying right now it's 28.28C. Let's, let's check that with my one right here. And I'm getting the same reading. Now, back to that coffee. You can imagine that if I wired this up with a female to male header pin, I could just have this sensor. 
Let's take a look at what it says now. 25.62. 28.28C. Perfect for coffee. 